in this quiet, peaceful garden, lush and green. I am looking at the shocking contrast in our future, which Claire Hutchings, in an article in the Geographical magazine of the Royal Geographic Society in London, in the August issue, has described as down to the last drop, with an African child looking for a calabash, very scarce water. Now, she points out that if the present rate of the destruction of catchment areas, the growth of world population, the drawing of excess water from artesian basins continues, by 2025, there will be an acute world shortage, of which there are signs now, with the Dead Sea reducing in bulk, the Aral Sea less than a third of its old size, because the Russian government has taken scarce water out of the Oxus system in Central Asia to grow cotton. We've come to the stage where, as Ms. Hutchins points out, we shall find that shortage of water and desire to command resources of water will be a far more powerful force in causing tension and war than the desire for oil. Further, if we do not adjust our minds to the matter, we will destroy a lot of the world's wildlife. Already in Germany at the conference four years ago, I noticed everywhere posters on railway stations and in and street corners a picture of a bedraggled sad wolf saying, Wenn Sie mein Wasser trinken, then muss ich sterben. If you drink my water, then I must die. And in droughts in Europe now, whenever the supplies tend to dry up, the wild creatures suffer first. But in the tragic parts of Asia, like our northern neighbors, everyone is suffering, as in Uganda you, you today, from the lack of any water at all. We must insist that the waste of water end, that its conservation methods be improved, that its reprocessing and cleaning for further use be more carefully studied. And this task for hydrologists, engineers, scientists of all kinds involved in the matter, and politicians and the ordinary voter, is perhaps one of the most important factors, apart from the nuclear one, perhaps in some ways even more urgently, involving the prospect of future survival of our race and indeed perhaps of all living creatures on this planet.